Scripture, the finest frontier. These are the voyages of Skylab Omega, its five-month mission to spread the gospel across the galaxy, to share God's love with civilization, to boldly go where one Savior has gone before. Come with us now as we blast through the Bible with Commander Cosmos, Space Ranger. Hi there, Space Cadets, Lieutenant Dan Solar Cloud here. It's good to be back aboard Skylab Omega. We sure have been busy. We've been to three different planets and all of those missions have been successful. But I am a little bit worried about Captain Yago and Ambassador Nofutu. We lost contact with them and haven't heard from them all week. Hope they're all right. Uh-oh, visitor arriving. Must be the commander. Visitor arriving. Visitor arriving. In five, four, three, two, one. Booga, booga, booga! Kangaloosh! Lieutenant Dan! Lieutenant Dan, it is so good to see you! It is so good to see anyone! Oh, we're so glad to see you! We're worried sick! You were worried, we were worried, I was worried, everyone was worried! Well, where were you? We got shipwrecked! Shipwrecked? But I thought Captain Yago was an excellent pilot! He is an excellent pilot, he told me so himself! But we got caught in a meteor storm, and the ship was struck, and we lost power, and suddenly we were hurtling towards planet Galatia! Oh man, what'd you say? We said, I mean, what did you do? Oh, oh, we crashed. I mean, after that, how did you get to safety? Oh, well, uh, Captain Yago told everyone in the crew to stay together with the ship, and we would all be all right. Oh, praise God. Yes, we did praise God, and we prayed a lot. And Captain Yago could not repair the ship, but he was able to fix the radio. Oh, what y'all saying to the radio? Help! Oh, did anybody come rescue you? No. What? Of course they did, silly head. How else would I be here? <laughs> well, I'm glad you're all right. Is Captain Yago okay? Yes, in in fact, he said that this adventure made him trust God even more. Oh, that's true. In moments of perilous danger, that's when we learn to put our trust into the Lord. You know, Paul learned that same lesson when he was shipwrecked. Ooh. Guess where you can find that story? I know! The music Bible! <laughs> yeah. Music Bible time! Music Bible time! <laughs> music Bible time! <laughs> Oh, thanks. Story time. <laughs> All right. Paul was on a ship with a bunch of men. What do you know? So were we. And they were caught in a storm. What do you know? So were we. And they feared the ship would be torn apart. What do you know? So did we. But an angel appeared to Paul and told them they would, be, they would all survive if they stayed with the ship. What do you know? That is the same thing that Captain Yago said to us. Well, maybe Captain Yago knew what Paul knew, that God had a plan. It's like it says in the virtual Bible. The beepity boops. I will get the beepity boops. Beepity boopity beepity boops. Beep, beep, beep. So keep up your courage, men, for I have faith in God that it will happen just as you told me. Huh. Oh, wow. Paul. It looks like God had a plan for Paul's life. Well, God has a plan for all of our lives. He does? Yeah. Do you think that he has a plan for Captain Yago and me and I and me? Well, yeah, I think he has a plan for all of you Ooh. and us. We just have to trust him. Oh, I do. I do. I trust him. And so did Captain Yago. He trusted him to rescue us. Yeah. I will call Captain Yago and tell him that God has a plan for Paul's life and ours too. Well, he, we just have to trust that God is going to complete his plan. After all, say it with us, kids. Jesus, Jesus is the same, same yesterday, today, today, and forever. forever.